Attention! The following video contains an error. When it happened to me, I just continued with the video and left it in for you to discover and as a little joke. I hope you don't mind. And now, have fun watching! Welcome to a cute little lock that was sent to me by Mr. Lupu. Buddy, thank you very much for the lock. I've completely messed it up. <laughs> yeah, so this lock came to me in a locked up state in this orientation here and I picked it open by turning it to the right without any trouble but turning it to the right was quite hard because there is a lot of friction between the plug and the housing. In the locked up state there is not so much friction but when it goes to the right it in the friction increases and so reaching the middle line was um, quite hard and yeah, I tried to get it loose by turning it right and left from the middle line. I had clamped it in a vise and used a screwdriver, but suddenly it locked up again in this orientation. Seems like we have two Bibles, one here and one there. And now, as it's locked up again, I wanted to pick it open now to the left but it's really hard to pick a lock when there is so much friction between the plug and the housing. I cannot move the plug by just using my fingers to turn it. So I had to think about a different option to tension it. <laughs> then I used a real wrench. I clamped the lock in a vise and I simulate this here quickly for you. And then I position it on the back and here you can see the plug turns. But there is really a lot of friction, so it's not a big deal to turn it with a wrench, but you have a, a lever here and it's a very stable object. With a tension wrench, uh, that's not really possible, so without bending or breaking it. Oops, no, it's not broken, just jumped out of the gap. So you can see there's not a lot of movement here on the plug. So I tried to pick it open by using this wrench here as a tensioner. But I tried maybe, maybe an hour or so without any success. So I think I cannot pick it open. Uh, I got some pins to bind, I think, but it's really hard if the, if the plug doesn't turn nicely when, when setting the pins. I even tried to shim it. Uh, shimming it from the front isn't possible because there seems to be a lip and shimming it from the back isn't possible because it's so tight. I mean, it's hard to turn. There must be a reason. It's really tight. So I messed it up and uh, yeah, I want to get out of this misery here and I think the only thing that I can do to get this lock back into some kind of working order is to get um, the pins of the Bible free by filing it, by filing this portion down. Then I can turn back the plug to the other Bible and show you picking. <laughs> Let's go down to the shop and do some work. So now let's see if the springs and pins can be extracted from the Bible.
So here are all the pins finally out of the lock and sorted in the tray. We can see all standard drivers and key pins and baby springs made from steel. Alright, so lock is clamped in a vise and it's locked up on the only remaining Bible, on the left Bible here. For tensioning it I use a Peterson flat tension bar and for picking the pins a 15 thousandths sparrows hook. Let's get started. Start in the back. Very light tension. Two and one and open. So it stops turning here because friction starts and with this tensioner no chance. Let's see if we can force it a little bit further by using a screwdriver. Yeah, but it's really hard to turn. So I use my um, yeah, my wrench, my normal wrench, put it like so. You can turn it and now this is the position where I started the video. Uh, it would be locked up now in the, at the position of the other Bible, which is not existing anymore. So let's turn it back to the left Bible, locked up again. Yeah, it's now a lock with only one Bible, <laughs> like most other locks, and I can still pick it from this Bible. <laughs> All right, I hope you have enjoyed this little repair video. <laughs> yeah, and until we meet again, thank you very much for watching. Happy picking and bye-bye. And Mr. Lupu, thank you very much for the fun luck. Cheers.